What's up guys, this is the Bowman and I am back to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Denmark. So to round off where we left off, we had the army under Frederick Carlson driving west towards Satara. However, there was a small stack in our way, so let us deal with it. India, because India is just so, so, so vast, so much wealth in India. Once you take India, then I think it, it probably won't be on par with owning all of Europe. But it's, a, it's damn so easy than owning all of your own in this game. It's more it's more worthwhile to hold all of India than it is to hold all the Americas, I think. Let's line up our troops. Let's put our artillery up on the hill. Behind us. Let's put our over on the left to go secure the hill. Let's give them a few units of infantry and support. And then let's secure the remaining troops. Yeah, I thought so. Heal them. So let's use the remaining four units to fan out on the right. Let's get an envelopment going. General and centre, cavalry unit to give them some support on the right. Okay, let's spread them out. Oh wow, you can't spread them out, not all the way. Let's move up our cavalry. Send the infantry up behind them. Charge also got off. Oh, pay them back in kind. So the camels fall back. Let's spread our line again. Recovery out. These guys are going to take hammering, two units of sit boys. Send in one unit of company infantry to get help them out. Let's pull back this cavalry. Trying to catch my, trying to catch my cover. I think to be a bit faster than that. Smash into the bows, even though there's camels nearby. Treating Zamandari horsemen. Try to leave those down with health, help the Hindu warriors. Let's charge the bowmen. Let's charge on the melee troops. Let's 
Let's get my artillery to start sniping the general's bodyguard. So the Sepoys are going to beat the bowmen, but it's just a question of how many troops they're going to lose. Fortunately, these chaps have charge into my marines, so my marines are going to do a pretty good job, but I still want some support for them. So the general sniping on my cavalry, so let's pull them back and see if we can entice them into running towards our line. Charge onwards into the Royal Infantry Guards. Let's bring these chaps up to here. Some support. Charged by cavalry has been charged by the dervishes. The weakened unit of dervishes at the moment, so continue to chase them down. Our infantry line up to try to get a better shot at engaging the camels. Not camels, elephants. So much so, let's pull them back. Try to shoot at the elephants instead. Took some friendly fire. The sepoy unit, or the sepoy unit, or the sepoy sepoy unit is almost completely destroyed. Cavalry's having a whale of a time in their retreating troops. The bowmen are doing. they're not doing terrible. I don't think that's then done. So we will want to continue. Sea quarriers, there's only ten of them. Go after that unit of new warriors. Bring my general back, send him against the gunners. And we are going to also fire at them with artillery. Probably musketry. Yep, they're going to be mowed down, mowed down, sat by their guns. Although the infantry aren't going to get the bowmen. Nope, down near though. I thought we would, but that's mainly due to me. First battle of the day. They're always a bit scraggy. Manar Kramot. Finish and move up. Move up to put the city under siege. Can't see what Goa's got. 
For Hyderabad's? I feel pretty safe with it. So you're moving up. You've got Katak under siege. No more. Oh, you're okay. Hold, just hold on to it. Hyderabad's doing a good job of replenishing. She might let's do this. So I don't have any completely un I only have one unit of each type that needs replenishing. Lost well, sure one there, but that's okay. Good, and you are recruiting more troops. Awesome. Still a bit conscious about Hanover. Because they've got I mean not very good troops. Troops that would be fun to engage in a in a fort battle. The US still with its two territories. Oh uh, yes, we're still at war with Spain. Let's replenish who we can here. I think we've already tried this previously, but let's try and make peace and trade. Nope. So then this army will sail on to Cuba, to Havana. And then we'll, we'll try and make peace again. Then we'll land in Florida and try and make peace again. Cool. How much cash are we bringing in a turn? 25 grand. It's not too bad. Lots being raided quite significantly there. We saw in the trade theatres that's being a little scamp. It doesn't, I can't see anything in Europe. So let's send this navy sends the sloop on a bit of a raid. Well, this is so. This is the problem with no raid. Arcelor, Bangalore. Then raid Bombay, sit on here, and raid their trade region. There you go, that's going to win us 4,000 in trade payment, in raiding pay, in um, other growth. So let's kick our head. Yeah, it's Jasper Walfridson. That's exactly the sort of guy we want. Ooh, I see you there. Full stack army. Well, I'm going to have to go for it regardless. Um, trade route raided. That was me. Let's hit enter. See what happens. Eventually, the French are going to just hate me as the natural uh, successor to the British Empire. <laughs> but let's see. Little devils. The Ottomans are doing well though, they're driving north. More northern than, than they normally do. Um No. Sorry, Poland. We are on good terms. Never normally see the Ottomans push up into Europe. Normally they just sit in their region and then don't do anything. So we've still got troops moving around. Especially if they're pushing north. Well, we keep seeing these troops f I think the Austrians got Courland. On the map it looks like they might. So the 13 colonies still exist. Just. I, c 
Okay. Oh, moving on. Good. They've not sieged it yet, so we'll get some more recruitment of troops. Oh, now they've sieged it. Um, still doable. I said, just want to farm that breach. Okay, this is always a bit, still a bit dodgy. They've got one artillery piece, so I'll put some holes in the walls, but beyond that, I think we'll be okay. Let's do it. Because I couldn't move up the army at Karnataka to support them, because they were a bit knackered. I should have moved my general from the west over to the... If I did that, then it feels like I would never leave. I would never... I would just sit there knocking troops back at Hyderabad. And that's not quite as fun. Do we already have a breach? That would be super duper handy. We do not. You rely on so many colonial troops because they're usually not as good. Okay. So I have to leave my heavy cavalry out to try to do something. Keep my keep my artillery behind. Jump my bodyguard in. So you can't deploy anything. I'll probably plonk you. If we put some boys down, I can put the fire lock on citizenry up here. So then I probably. The militia can't deploy states either, that's annoying. So what I want to do is something like this. Plonk down these, just to make sure wherever they breach, it's probably going to have some stakes in front of it. everyone. So this first army doesn't actually have any artillery. So I think we want to make the we need to make the breach ourselves. It's the only safe option. Citizenry, and they—they're going to be—they're going to be done. At least most of them spend some time out in front, so they can get some shots. Ooh, God, that's a lot of elephants killed with one shot. Okay, I'm limber. They have one gun spawning on the right. Which is firing. Okay, so let's limber up. Because it looks like they might knock out a breach of this corner section. So let's go knock them out. And two, if they're going to help us make one, may as well take the help. Where's the general retreat? Throw away my heavy cavalry uh, to, to kill as many of them as possible while we make the breach. Although I 
can probably move the Sepoy unit over here instead. If they can run, and then let's try and put the Firelock on citizenry somewhere else. And then with the guns. Probably have to destroy that building to get to it, but that's what we're gonna do, that's what we're gonna do. ground. So we also want to take you guys out completely and put the militia up here instead. too long. At least if it was in the, this corner it would have to change the position too much. Something right at the The regiment of militia nicely bugged out trying to climb the steps. Running really slowly. Good, that's more like it. It's the small unit of supports can secure the the main room. This unit can run over here. Doesn't need to be safe, just wanted to get off the wall. At least these guys haven't bugged out. Still firing their cannons. There we go. So if I have them take this building, they will be very, very tempted to try and keep taking it back, which will expose them to repeated shots. bugged up there, bugged down here. It doesn't mean that they won't fire at will for a very long time. Storm my cavalry in. Need to do something. It's a lot of Indian troops. Soon we'll have a we'll have a breach. So I've got my firewall off. Breach, so let's keep rattling it with cannon shot. Let's run away. Turn fireball on from the militia. He's drawing lots of them in. Good couple of routes. His bowmen are going to try and move around. This wall's being shot at. So eventually, if all of these sections of the wall end up falling, it's okay. Try get uh, back in the fight, and then we'll go and smash into this unit of dervishes. Okay, 
mid, cavalry to rout. Charge on into the dervishes. Route to the, the bowmen. Just want to run away from these units, mus this musketeer unit. Actually, they've ran sufficiently far away from the bulk of the other forces. Let's run into them. They're going to get some musket shots off. Maybe. So let's send out my armed citizenry. And they've started to push it. So they can get pushed back with quick line. Cast a shot. We can specifically target the dervishes now, because they're actually. Yeah, we're losing our cavalry. Just sit in there and get as many kills as they possibly can. I think that's the way to do it. So it's a bit unfortunate with the cavalry defences because it's a perfect gap for them. Fire well off, fire well off. We want them to shoot the Hindu warriors, but if they're going to fire into the centre, that's okay as well. What do they actually do? And yep, there goes the seventh fourth guards. Just kill as many of them as you can. fire their muskets as well. Well, the Indian warriors have climbed the walls, but it looks like they've climbed the walls to find another way in. Around the breach. Just clever in of itself. Successfully routed my cavalry. Citizenry probably going to use up all its ammo against one unit of both. Come on, route Hindu warriors. General with a musket shot, with a cannon shot, sorry. Yes, that cannon shot is what we want. Otherwise, it could get a bit hairy as soon as they throw a grappling iron up. No, in which case that might be perfect then. This one gun might do. Oh, there they go. Let's run this Sepoy unit over here. Roll that cannon out another time. I think the troops are coming back. Broken, good, perfect, exactly what you want to see. Ok, 
Okay, let's get this infantry unit off the walls. The bowman can be a frustration, but this wall's going to come crumbling down imminently. So let's move on to this section of the wall. Set boys up here. Okay, this is the this is going to be a problem because dervishes are decent early troops. They're being swarmed, but at least we knock the musketeers back. Okay, come out, general. I mean, my. I don't know where the hell you guys are going. These guys are moving, dervishes are moving up on the walls, but they're weak. Come out, General. Let's also run... ...tune the militia. This unit of supplies as well. You're only lost. Okay, you're gonna fight. Fight these dervishes. Bowman is shaken, Dervis is shaken because they're losing slightly. So the winning decisive being the Bowman actually climbing back down to fight them. So the boys are winning. Firing foot artillery. There's the wavering, which is perfect. And they're broken. Yeah, the militia, you can stay where you are. Let's get my gem run out of here. Run them away. If they chase after us, we will find a route to get him back into the city. Even though it sure looks like. Oh no, it's just a general's bodyguard. They're aggroed onto them, which isn't ideal. It looks like they're actually bugged on the. They're bugged. Either. So let's go take back the gatehouse. Is that the Horseman? horsemen? Okay, we get some cheeky shots off. But we'll see them off. Oh, they did lose a few to the cavalry defences. The anti cavalry defences. I don't think they quite know what they want to do. Let's get, this, get these sepoys on the walls. Because these guys seem fairly useless now to shoot anything. Oop, cavalry coming in, but they're going to plant the spikes. Oh, you know, levies actually made on the wall. Engage them from the rear. 
lost a supporting cavalry unit. I mean, what the hell are you doing? You go back to manning as many cannons as you can fit. This other unit can keep attacking them until they shatter. Let's get this unit off the wall. If I go in the city, I'll be happy, but I want to try and nail my general down here into this gate. Because this one's going to be a bit too much of a, a bit too much of a task. Fire off. soon. He's not lost any actual men yet. Gun teams. General's going to route. Fire blast that cannon into the Big bulk troops. Yes. So let's take. So don't. If I run my general in, he might get intercepted by them. I have to do something soon because the reinforcing army is coming in over here. through 20 minutes. You're unhappy because you're on the wall. So let's, you're unhappy to be shot at by cannons. So let's just get you off the wall. Take the fireball back on for you chaps. See if you can kill this general's bodyguard. shot from artillery from every position. No! Oh, for God's sake! Run! Screw you, General. You deserve to die. Immediately as well. He was here, and I clicked run in, and we do own this gate, but they decide to rather than go that way, they want to go that way. So just let him die, to be honest, at this point. I've done what I can to try to save him. Get this unit off the wall.
Good. Stupid general. As I said, deserve to die. This Hindu unit up here isn't, isn't a good thing for us. Let's bring in, let's bring in our general, our general and militia unit. Good old militia. Look at, look at this! Stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay, so you guys go there and man some guns to fire at the levy. You guys are wavering. Or as they were wavering a moment ago. Another general gonna kill. Bone gonna, gonna scale the wall up here as well. Good. No, not you. Get you guys back. These guys have changed their mind, which is nice. Now they're winning. So let's get this other support unit in. Should be the militia they're probably cutting through. Okay, now they're wavering. Like he seems to have a real problem charging up and down these stairs. Stay up here for as long as they possibly can. Even with the round of ammunition, I should have manned the cannons up here instead. Combatant is winning, but I think we've got. They'll probably be losing men slightly more unaffordably than we are. Especially these guys don't want to move actually down into the platform. Onto the platform. They're being held up by a handful of warriors. And it's doing the trick. Good, the cavalry are all going to run into these spikes. Good lad. So the militia is being cut apart. Sepoys are, aren't brilliant, but they'll probably be a bit better than the militia. See, as soon as the Sepoys actually get into a decent position, they start wavering. Keep picking away. Let's get you off the wall now instead. They're not so keen about actually making holes in the wall, they want to attack the wall itself. It's another general killed. Oh, thank God. Let's get these, let's get these sepoys, sepoys to man the section of this wall. It's cavalry unit. Don't mind cavalry units. The militia's gonna be ready as well. Oh, they actually made a breach here. Managed to 
decree one of my cannons. I'm to take this building. I don't think there's enough of them actually in it to make it worthwhile to destroy. feel a bit unhappy. So let's beef your capacity with a bit of file up on citizenry. There she's a shape of her wave wing. She's a mass attack now the line to the good ideas. So they will have fewer problems. Can't do anything about the artillery. Round shot the barracks. Their just are broken. Honestly, why left? Cavalry are in. If cavalry run in here, they'll be more susceptible to die. Turn you a bit like this instead. Fine, aim just shy of it then. Coming in back here, another Hindu unit. You know, Islamic swordsman. Still a bit scary. That artillery is going to be what kills me in the end. So you're doing a good job holding off assault after assault after assault after assault, but. up here to help attack these chaps when they arrive. At least my guys here have got a good shot against some of the natives without killing loads of my own men. Change direction, camels. Although you could probably do with being in here instead. It's 
actually get a strong unit on the front line. Actually no, put you over here. Oh, you have no ammo. Stay over here. Provide a tenth of the target. Keep this unit of company infantry here and a bit of a defilade from the guns. Building taken, damn right building taken. Okay, these guys need to abandon the walls completely. They're just being shot at. Still a bunch of troops still remain. Speed up time a little bit. Both my gunners are very unhappy. Understandably so. Pouring fire into the levee. Run, set boys, close those doors. Good. And you guys fill up this gap. Good, they're routing instead of you. Interesting. So imagine to hold on to it. Oh, fingernails. They're all trying to charge this grenadier regiment that has no ammo. for it. They may as well. They've got no other useful utility and they are grenadiers. So they will take as many of them down as they can. They're never getting shot as they run past my militia. Though they might try and actually climb up, which would be frustrating. It is, they are running up. So attack the levy. It's like a sort of move. But they're wavering. Grenadiers are probably killing a whole bunch of native women. them before they get a decent foothold. Ah! Oh, these lemming swords were made into the gunners, but they've they're routing. They now have no don't don't charge them. I don't think these two men can man their guns anymore. Send this unit of company infantry back to deal with the bowmen. Okay. Oh, they may 
just 50 men. Let's charge them in. Grenadiers are going to fall. I'm pretty sure I'm actually going to lose this because they're not because they've not got firepower to to knock to push away all these men. Should be able to do something. Grenadiers are doing what they can against the bowmen. They killed about. I don't know, they might have, they might have traded themselves one for one. Grenadiers are having a wild old time. up into range to fire into the combat because we have no reason not to See, but neither of my gunners can actually man a gun satisfactorily now. Keep on firing. It's more about the morale than trying to row. Because what I hope hope has happened is that the game is bugged and they're not gonna attack me anymore. And that shows how desperate the situation is when I'm actively hoping that the game is bugged. Huh, these guys are still shooting even though Sepoy is bugged on the wall. Got a hundred men firing at these bowmen. These guys are all out of ammo. Just want to knock. Knock these bowmen back. Then when these guys are further in. I don't know. This new supplies can still get some good shots off. Where's my. Where's my it is. All of them charge the levy. Good, they finally broke. Come back. And these bowmen have done really well. Artillery's dropping in. Speed up time just a little bit. So they've broken. Because they're not moving. They're not moving. I'll mash into them if I have to, or when I have to, but right now I'm happy to let the clock run down. Let's triple speed it, because right now they're holding them up. I'm hoping these guys might actually be bugged and not going to go too far, because they've got guys stuck outside. But if my calculations are correct, you might be able to win this due to the battle timer. Which obviously isn't great, but, you know, I'll take it. Especially if these guys keep fighting. Which 
Is there a hundred odd men? There's not a hundred men in that corner, unless they're all stacked up on top of each other. No, that's definitely only four. Oh, so they must be in here then. Oh yeah, there they are. And now they're bowmen are wavering. Let's see who breaks. My 16 company infantry or their 81 bowmen. Okay, so, so that's like the worst possible thing I could see coming up into the coming up into the screen. So let's move up somewhat because we need to get. Well, no, not move up. Let's move our infantry to the side so they can actually fire on them. charge with everything we've got. Get some company infantry in the centre. And we want to hold them for six minutes. But the hope is we might be to do enough damage with our muskets. I know you are also out of ammo, so it's just these two weakened units. Kill as many as they can with musket fire. No, they're out of ammo. Don't commit until we're forced. We're watching to the clock. Oh, they've pulled back. And they've come back in. Okay, all of them. This is where it's decided if we can get these dervishes to rout. If they cause if they rout us, we're dead. Right at the end. And the artillery is certainly not helping. Oh, damn, right at the end. Right at the end. The melee troops got us. Damn! Three minutes. Three and a half minutes to go. Unless these guys can hold on. It's one unit grenadiers, although they will not, because there's too many. To be honest, I should have fed them one unit at a time. Fed them one... Ah, oh, valiant defeat. Fed them one unit at a time, that would have worked. That army is now very isolated. I might actually have to get it to the coast and pick it up and deposit it with my other with my other army. Because I don't want it to be destroyed. I need to pump out so many more troops. Because I'm not going to back out of India. No way. No way, Jose. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. So Select we the just send dragoons. Where's my other army? Fleet arrives. There he is. A trade port will provide an income from overseas. Santo Domingo. Still replenishing. Let's upgrade the port. And let's hop over to India. So what I want to take this a navy if you can move to oh, you can't but i can pick you up i can pick you up and then redeploy you over to the east so we're not at risk of losing a foothold send our navy up against this single fifth rate which we will take if we cap it nope we've destroyed it let's get him into port for repairs let's 
let's keep the recruitment of troops Ceylon to be almost constant and how it's a the army can be dropped off here at Calicut let's deposit the army so we can kill this raiding raiding army Let's move them up to Karnataka. Let's repair what we've got. Upgrade the roads. Upgrade the port. And upgrade the plantations. Actually, let's get these chaps over to Calicut because that's where the third rate is. I want to get these three company infantry onto the continent. Good. Keep on building. Keep on recruiting. Kind of cut is the yeah, are replenishing. But let's get some I don't think I can cut. Hmm. I don't know why it's greyed out. Oh, it's because I'm recruiting the maximum amount. No, it's not. Maybe it's because I don't have Hyderabad anymore. But you can see they are starting to pump out lots of troops. So Bruno, I might actually. It's tempting to pull back with Bruno. Let's go back to Europe. Let's recruit a couple of units of line infantry for the fort. You're already en route. So separately for the fort's requirements, let's get some two units of guards and, a, and a probably a couple more line infantry. Well, actually, let's make it just line infantry to maximise numbers so I can ship them over next turn. Heroic death, a general holding on to Hyderabad. Taking care of the raids. Port located. Colombo, which we've dealt with. Got some upgrades in Hispaniola, but not all of them. 26,000. We're still being raided. Our trade routes are being raided. Okay. Because we are in rural territory, it's tempting to move this army out. Because they're probably not going to try and attack us, as we've got. They're probably not going to try to attack us as we're on their territory now. So let's send our sloop over. Move my main navy. Actually, I can just move the sloop down to, to Greenwich. Ah, oh, Ostrowski Dansk. Yeah, yeah the, Ottomans have, the Ottomans finally captured Vienna. It's finally happened. The upper path was blocked, but now no longer. You're starting to look a bit isolated up here now, Bruno. But you've got enough forces, I could be, I'd be confident defending with you for now. But what is a strategic necessity is to upgrade the gunnery school, which I now have built in in, in, in um, Ceylon, but I'm also building it in Copenhagen because I want this. Quick lime shells. That is now a priority. Everything's been recruited. Cool. And let's hit in turn. Let's see what happens. Could do with expanding my main, my naval forces and put a blockade of a blockade of India.
to help break them economically. But let us. So that was a bit of a slog of a battle. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna cut the recording just so we don't have to wait. So the Mughals are moving against us now, and we're gonna have to defend against this army. We can't retreat, which is what I'd like to do. Um, but we'd have to fight it. However, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the the defense of Bruno Osling at Katak. Radio. Cheers, guys.